Hi, this is Scott Kilo Sierra 6, Delta Alpha Yankee, and for today's video, we're back with another Yaesu FT60 Operator Series video. For today's video, we're actually going to start programming uh, memory channels into the radio, and we're going to start off fairly simple to begin with, and we're going to program some simplex frequencies into the radio and save them as, as memory channels. We're not going to mess with repeaters today, that'll be for later videos. So we don't have to worry about things like offsets or, uh, or tones or anything of that nature. So this will be, again, fairly simple, fairly straightforward. As a reminder, this radio has been reset to its factory settings. And because it is at its factory settings, the VFO is showing 430 megahertz, like yours should show. And there is one memory channel existing on the radio, and that is also 430 megahertz. I did a few things in previous videos. Uh, towards setting up the radio. One of those things was making sure that ARS is turned off. That's automatic repeater shift. As I discussed in that video, automatic repeater shift was a good idea, but unfortunately it works a little too aggressively and will screw you up on your simplex work. So I, as a, as a practice myself, just turn ARS off. It, it really, you're not going to miss it. Trust me, um, especially considering the headaches and hassles it will bring when you're trying to do any kind of simplex work with this radio. So the first thing I want to verify before we begin is to make sure that ARS is indeed turned off. So to do that, we go to FW and 0 to enter the set menu. We go to item number 4, which is ARS, short press FW, and just confirm that ARS is indeed off, and it is. So we exit out. Now, um, in saving a frequency to a memory channel. The first thing you need to know about this, and this generally applies to most HTs, is the HT needs to be, and the FT60 in particular, needs to be in VFO mode so that you can enter the frequency. Now telling the difference between VFO and memory mode is usually fairly simple if you have a habit of naming your channels. Because in memory mode you'll see a name, in VFO you will not. But another way that we can verify that we're um, what mode we're in is we go to the VM key at the bottom left hand corner of the front panel and we short press that and you notice memory came up. It's still showing 430 but you'll notice that number 1 now appears above that. Well that's your channel number. So if it's showing a channel number, you're in memory mode. So let us go back to VFO so we can start the process of programming some frequencies in. So we short press VM and go into VFO. Now what I'm going to be programming in today is, is a number of simplex frequencies. The first two are going to be the VHF and UHF national calling frequencies of 146.520 and 446.000 for VHF and UHF respectively. I'm also going to name those channels. I On my radios I name them call 1 and call 2 so I know at a glance those are the correct simplex frequencies to use for calling. You don't necessarily have to do that. I, I do, but what this does is it gives us the added benefit of not only programming in simplex, or simplex frequencies, but also naming the frequencies that we save as memory channels. So you get to learn a little, get a little ahead of the ball here. So um, let's go ahead and start off with the first one. And the way this is going to work, I am going to make a couple of deliberate mistakes along the way, and I'll point those out when I do them. To show you how they how to correct them but the process i'm going to show you is the correct process to begin with at the end i'm going to show you a couple of other little things that'll pop up and just in case you do them i'll show you how to get out of them but i don't want to confuse you too much so this process we're going to go through first is the correct and true method of saving a frequency to a memory channel so let's go ahead and put the first one in which is one four six five two zero now to save this to a memory channel, it is really as simple as this. You go to the FW key down at the lower right hand corner of the screen and we're going to long press this for one full second. And you'll note now there's a little flashing 001 and it shows 430. And what it's showing, and I, after five seconds by the way, if I don't do anything or touch anything, we go back to VFO. thought I'd point that out real quick. So you have five seconds to make a decision on where you where you want to start going with your, your channel selection to select the channel you want to save this frequency to. So let me long press for one second again. We start turning that knob and you'll notice initially it started to 001. It's occupied and you can tell so because it shows 
the frequency information on there. So it tells you this is a memory channel that already has data saved to it. But you can turn that channel selector knob and go to channel 2, channel 3, channel 4, all the way up to 999 if you want. But what I want to do in this case is actually I want to overwrite channel 1 because I don't have any use for 430 megahertz on channel 1. I want call 1 to be on channel 1. So we go back to channel 1 and to save this frequency onto channel 1, all you do is short press the FW key. Tap, done, M-E-M-N. Now, it takes us back to VFO, so to verify that that memory was saved on channel one, I'm just gonna short press VM. And now, instead of showing 430 megahertz on channel one, I have 146.520, so we were successful. Now let's go ahead and name this channel real quick while we're here. And to name the channel, what we're gonna do is go to FW and zero. We're gonna go to item number 28 which is NMWRT, or name right. There we are. Then we're going to short press the FW key, and you see six dots. What those six dots represent is the six available characters that you can assign to name this channel. Now, to make your first name, or your first alphanumeric uh, selection, you need to short press the FW key, and notice that dot on the left is now flashing. You turn the knob at the top of the radio to go, and in this case, I want to name this call one, so I rotate all the way through till I get to the C. To advance to the next character, we short press FW, and we roll through, and looking for the A. That went too far. Short press again. We're looking for an L here now. Almost there. Now on the next one, I'm going to deliberately make a mistake, and I'm going to put the wrong character in here so I can show you how to correct this if you do that. So I'm going to go to the L, and instead I'm going to go one too far and put an M in there. Now I've realized I spoke calm instead of call. I want to go back and fix that. So I go to the down arrow, and I short press that. Now the M is flashing. I can fix that and advance back forward again by short pressing the FW key. And now I'm looking for a dash. And there it is. It's actually two little dots, but it serves the purpose. Move on, and now I'm looking for the number one. Now, short press. Now, I've used up all six characters. Nothing is flashing, okay? And now we're going to have a little bit of a departure from what you have seen up to this point on exiting a submenu of a menu item. Normally, what we would do is when we've made a selection on a submenu, we press FW to go back to the, the main menu, right? But don't do that. If you press the FW, it's going to take you back to six blank dots, and you're going to have to do this all over again. So when you've gotten to the end of this, nothing's flashing. You've used up all six characters. To save and exit, you're just going to press the PTT. And watch what happens. You see this little text at the top is now going to turn into a 1. And there we go. It's saved, it exited, and we're back into the memory mode. Now, normally, I could... Uh, if I had more memory channels on here, I could turn the knob to verify that, but there's only one memory slot. So let's go back to VFO, and let's put in call 2. Call 2 is going to be 446000. Now, as a reminder, to save this to memory, I'm going to long press the FW key for one second, and then after that I have five seconds to make a channel assignment decision. So, long press... And now it moved automatically to channel 2, which is the next open memory slot. And you can tell that because there's nothing displayed other than the six dots. I go back to 1 and I see call 1. I know call 1 lives there and that there's data on channel 1. I want this to be on channel 2. So to save it, short press FW. Don't long press, short press. I'll cover long press at the end. So automatically we return back to VFO. So I want to verify that this is now on memory. So I short press VM, goes into memory mode. 446000 is showing up on, sorry, menu item two. And I can verify that by cycling through with the channel knob. There's a menu slot one, menu slot two. Now let's go ahead and name this. Now in this case, before I used up all six characters, in this case I'm only going to use two characters for the name. I'm going to call this C2 instead of Call2. And I'm going to do this so that I can show you how to save the name without having used up all six letters, because there's a slight difference in, in the procedure. 
So we go to FW and zero to enter this uh, uh, set mode. Item 28, we're already there for name right. And I press again. I've got my dots. So to get my first selection blinking, I press FW. Let's go ahead and select a C. And let's advance by pressing FW again. And here we're going to put the number 2 in and advance. Now, we've got four remaining slots. We're not going to use that. So to eliminate all four slots and get to the save portion of this, what I'm going to do is long press the FW key. Now, all four dots disappeared. To make my final selection and return to memory, just like before with the six character name, I'm just going to press, F, press the PTT. And we are there. I'm sorry, I didn't notice uh, that the text had dropped out. You only have to press it once. But you'll note it that the little SEE or SEL there dropped out, and we, uh, we came back to number two showing. So we can now cycle through our memory selections. There's one, and there's channel two. And that's the data we have there. So now let me show you how to save just a basic raw frequency. Because... And, and to kind of explain what I'm doing in terms of programming in simplex memories, because what a lot of folks will do is they'll program in and save just repeaters. And then for simplex, all they do if they ever need to use simplex is they just hit, you know, they just go to VFO and punch in the simplex frequency that they want to talk on. And that's a way to do it. Myself, for some reason, um, whether this makes sense or not, it might make sense to you. I like to take all of the known identified simplex frequencies for my area's band plan, and I like to program, it, program them in as memory channels. That way, if I'm setting up, for instance, maybe I'm using, we'll talk about this later when we talk about banks. If I have an event and we might have um, our primary communications frequency is going to be repeater one, our backup is going to be repeater two, and then we may have two simplex administrative channels. This allows me to put those simplex administrative channels into that bank along with the repeater channels. And, now, and I know for that event, I'm only going to be using those four frequencies. And while I'm locked into the bank setting, it's no matter how many times I turn that knob at the top, it's only going to show those four frequencies in that bank. So it is helpful for that. It's helpful for a lot of reasons. So when I, when I program in simplex for that purpose as a memory channel, as I mentioned, I have call one and call two that I name, but the rest of them I just leave as, as a raw frequency number. So that way if they say, hey, you know, administrative channel one is going to be 147520 and administrative channel two is going to be 147525 or, or 625 or so, something like that. I'm pulling those off the top of my head, to be honest with you. Um, that's And that's why it's, it's, um, it's practical to save them for that reason. So moving on, let's go back to, um, to saving um, a simplex frequency as just a raw frequency, and we're not going to name it. So let's go back to VFO. And in this case, let's put in 14742. Oh, look, I made a mistake. So let's PTT out. When in doubt, PTT out. So if you make a mistake, just hit the PTT, and you can go back to your VFO and start over again. So 147. Seven five two zero. So we're going to put in one four seven five two zero, and we're going to save this as a memory channel. So at this point, as we know, we're going to long press the FW key for one full second. It takes us to the next available memory slot, which in this case is the number three that's blinking. As a reminder, one and two are occupied, so we want to save it on three. To save it, do final save, short press. That's it, just short press. Let's press VM, make, go back to memory mode, make sure it's there on three, and there we go. So we have call one, call two on channel two, and on channel three, 147.520. And that's it. It's really as easy as that. Now let me show you one, now that we've got this, and you could stop at this point and live your life happy, but let me show you one little thing, one little mistake that you can make along the way that might trip you up and confuse you a little bit. So let's go back to VFO, and I'm going to make a deliberate mistake here. So in this case, I'm going to put in 147420. I'm going to save this by long pressing for one second. I have item number four. So we've got two, one, two, three, four. 
Now, in this case, we know for final save, all we're going to do is short press, right? Well, let me show you what happens if you long press. So instead of short pressing to do final save, I long press and I release. Now, instead of it taking me back to VFO, it's taking me to the screen where we can name channels. And you might think, hey, this is a time-saving convenience. I'll just go ahead and name the channel because it's already blinking and everything. So let's put in here, let's call this, let's call this call four. So let's put in a let's put in a C here. Let's advance the next selection and see what happens. <laughs> That's what happens. I don't know why it does this. I at first I thought this was some kind of convenient shortcut. It's not. It's just a just a wee little mistake that occurs. So let's do this again. Let's save this channel again and let's long press. And let me show you what to do if, if, if that happens. So again, under normal conditions, we're going to long press for one second and then we're going to short press to save to that memory slot. But in this case, let's long press instead of short press. And there it takes us to the little dots. To exit out of this, just hit the PTT. Go back to memory mode. And it's there it is on five. Just PTT out. Um, I don't know why it does that. I, I don't know what the purpose is. Uh, and I'm sure someone will elucidate. So someone will someone will come in and say, well, it does this, this, and this. I haven't discovered that. I just know that every now and again I do it. And it had me scratching my head the first few times I did it. But to see how it's actually done, just watch the first three three frequencies that I saved as memory channel and and you've got it. So that's simplex. That's saving a simplex frequency to a memory channel. In the next video what we're going to be talking about is repeaters and we're going to start off with a couple of basic repeaters and we're not going to get too terribly complicated. We're not going to get into you know weird splits and, and stuff like that. We'll do those in, in later ones. We'll keep advancing but this is you know crawl walk run is, is the progression we're going to take here. But the next video will show you how to set up a basic uh, repeater setup with tone and also tone squelch. And I'll, I'll explain what that means when we get there. How about that? This video has already been long enough. So with that, I'll bring it to an end. Thank you for watching. This is Scott, Kilo Sierra 6, Delta Alpha Yankee from Visalia, California. Have a wonderful day.